How would you describe your first playoff experience here at the stadium last night? <laughs> that was awesome. That was an awesome night. We won, but at the same time, we compete so much in the game. And the vibes that we had in the in the dugout during the game, uh, all the players supporting up, all the each others. That was awesome, awesome night for me. Talk about competing. Can you describe the difficulty of that catch you made in the fourth inning? I just try to help the team in whatever thing that I'm gonna do in that night. You know, defense, offensive. I just try to to do the things that I have to do to to help the team win. And that happened yesterday. Yeah, feel so so good about it. Other questions? I'll go to Chris, uh, Christy and the Nerd. What happened after that play? How did the fan end up with your hat and hi you high fiving him? The people think that uh, that the <laughs> the fans give me other hat, but no, no, no. We have something inside the hat. So when I drop the the hat to the to the outside of the field. And when I check the hat, it's not the thing that that I have inside of the hat. And I say, like, what is that? <laughs> you know, but that that was my hat, though. <laughs> it didn't. And Eric, on your right, Oswaldo. Oswaldo, you came up as an infielder. Why do you think you've adjusted so quickly to playing either one of the corner outfield positions? I was training so much from the last year in the offseason. And in Orlando with, with Borman. And I used talking with him like I have to be ready for for the time that that they need me in the outfield, you know. And during the the season two, talking with the coaches, different coaches, talking with some veteran guys like Ryan Lamar, talking with my brother all the time, like giving some tips before I played. And when the moment coming in AAA in in low, that was in low A, my first time playing. And I was like prepared, you know, just like, yeah, I think I, I know the things that I have to do to to play here and just making the adjustments and the things and trying, like like I said, trying to help the team. Your brother's My brother is completely an outfield all his life. Yeah, he's so good. Uh, Greg in the second row. Have you surprised yourself at all with how smooth that transition to the outfield has been? Yeah. <laughs> I'm honestly, I'm surprised about that. But at the same time, it's like the work that we was putting on it, you know? And <clears throat> yeah, I, I never told that the, that I gonna make like plays like that, but we was working for it. And the third row on your left. What was your reaction when you first got called up and what did you want to accomplish You know, when you got here? Accomplish? Yeah, all right. So my first reaction when I got the call out is just like like a kid in that moment, you know, it's like a dream that I had before and I get the, the call out. I was so happy, so surprised at the same time. But just in my mind was like play hard, just trying to do the things that I was doing in, in AAA and just to try to help the team and do the things that I know don't be like superstar or think that I can uh, do more things that I can do. Just be me, <laughs> be myself. And Laura on your left. You only have a few dozen Major League Baseball games, but already you're on a postseason stage and you're contributing. How much, uh, how do you handle the nerves in that situation or do you even feel any? Yeah, everybody, I think everybody feels nervous. He's not, he's not a human, you know, but it's just, too many, too many veteran guys and too many people who played postseason before told to me all the time. Adam Hicks told to me so much, Marwin, and he's, you, they just give me like couple advice to to control the nervous and these things. And I just try to be there, just breathe, breathe, breathe. That that's all in my mind all the time. Breathe. That's it. Yeah, it's, it's the same game. You know, it's nothing changed. Just to more people in the in the stands but it's the same game nothing changed and the second row on your left um last night wasn't the first time that you sort of run into fans while trying to make a play where does that like sense of fearlessness come from for you 
I don't know, I think I was just excited for the game, excited for the postseason, and that just happened in that moment. You know, I was I was not thinking, nothing in that moment. It just happened in the game. And the third row on your right. Garrett Cole spoke yesterday, yesterday about how impressed he continues to be by you as you have such, you know, great defensive skills. What does it mean to be so impressed um, by veterans in this league? And they just continue to be shocked. Like, what does that mean to you? That means a lot. Um, from the first time that I've been here, I told this before. Um, all the veteran guys, all the people inside of the clubhouse, they give me, like, confidence. And from the first day that I'm here, they they give me the, that thing that I, I'm part of the team, you know? So that made me feel so happy. That made me feel so Play with so much confidence inside on the in, in the in the field, and yeah, I feel so happy. Her uh, these things about about me, you know, I feel so proud about myself. Do two more, uh, Brian, on your left. As well. So, did you get the card back from inside your hat? No, you never found no, it. No, no. Somebody, some fan probably took it home. Yeah, I don't <laughs> <Okay>. know. <laughs> probably, I don't know if that was in the field too. Probably that was in the corner. I was looking around, but. I don't know where was it. <laughs> what did you do when you got back to the dugout? Did you have to ask for I just, one? I just, yeah, I just get a new one, yeah. And then what uh, tomorrow or game two? What are you looking forward to about playing behind Nestor? Just the same, the same, the same. The the plans never change. It's just be focused in the game, pitch by pitch. Just try to help the team with the things that that I is in my hands. Do the things that I I have to do that I know to do, and that's it. Is that all my, my 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 mindset all the time? Finish up with Bruce on your right. Oswaldo, it's the best of five game series. So how important is it for the Yankees to keep it going in game two? That's a good question. It's we we as a team we always think in win, you know? We have to compete all the time. We want to to go inside of the field and win. And yeah, it's in so much important, but at the same time, it's like the thing that we got in the mind always. Like we have to go inside, do the thing that we have to do, and just swing. 